All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to make a simple timer that starts when the setup function is called. So we can see in this demonstration, the time is increasing one second at a time. So the general timer is going to measure how much time passed since the setup function started. And, and this is measured with the function millis, which measures milliseconds or 0 0.001 seconds. So what I do is convert it into seconds by dividing that by a thousand. That'll tell us how many seconds that is. In the setup function, I'm just creating a canvas and I'm setting the frame rate to 30. That means the number of frames this is played per second is 30. And I just console log the frame rate. The frame rate is being printed out in the console log and it's around 30 frames per second all the time. So after the setup function, I'm just drawing the background. So I'm letting my current time variable equal the integer value. Remember an integer is a whole number. So it's converting this decimal into a whole number. The number of milliseconds divided by a thousand is the number of seconds. And that many seconds is being converted into an integer or a whole number. And then that is going into the amount of current time that has passed. And I'm just showing this a heads up display or HUD setting the text size or the font size, filling it with this blue color and putting time plus. Well, this plus means I'm linking this string in uh, quotation marks with this variable together because it's expecting, text is expecting three arguments, what you're going to say and the X position and Y position. If I put a comma here, that means I have four separate things and you're going to get an error. So if you want to show text and a variable together, you have to link it with the plus sign. 